Hey guys, Michael Marwa here. Welcome back. In this episode, we will talk about Vulterans. Southwest of the wild territory of Almarians lies several city states, of which are the most important city of Brigi. Coastal Argos, but strongest and most arrogant is Vultera. Vulterans live relatively peacefully, enjoying culture and art and generally consider themselves to be much more superior to others. To the northwest lies the city of Brigi with Golden Tower of Sun. Although in the surrounding mountains Brigians mining gold in large quantities, Brigians, unlike the Vulterans, are not so arrogant. They also love peace, fine craftsmanship and architecture. Their army is used only to protect their freedom. Small squads of Brigians was forced to fight on Vulteran's side during decisive battle with King Tark of Aquilonia. When the war with Tarkans was approaching, all men able to fight were called to arms. This also applied to Vulteran's sons of rich landowners and merchants. These young men serve a slight cavalry, armed with a pair of javelins and curved sword. Since they could not match Tarkan's heavy cavalry, their task was to explore enemy maneuvers and harassing their formation as mobile skirmishers. This light cavalry is supposed to avoid close combat, but in the worst case of emergency, the horsemen dismounted and fought as auxiliary infantry. Out of battle, they pursued like hunters, lone soldiers, gathering forage and wood. At the Battle of Ultera also fought Brigian Sun Guard. These men were elite swordsmen, serving as personal guard and also as shock infantry. They fought under Brigian commander Lars on the right Ulteran flank. And what would the city of Ultera do without his ruler, tyrant Lysimach, and his cousin Lars, whom Lysimach installed as puppet? ruler in Brigi. Lysimach was commander of coalition at battle of Ultera against Tark Aquila and his allies. Battle was indecisive for a long time until Lysimach was struck by a poisoned arrow from Naari archer. First it seems arrow did not penetrate his breastplate armor and did not even injure him until the poison began to work. Sudden collapse of commander was taken as bad omen from guards, and at this point, Volterans lost all hope. Fun history fact Latin Tyrannus is from ancient Greek Tyrannos, originally neutral designation for person from the common people who took power or become single ruler. It probably passed into ancient Greek from uh, some Asia Minor language. The war acquired a harmful tone only in 6th century BC after establishment of democracy. I have planned this story and illustrations for a long time. Some of the pictures are one year old. Originally, Tarquin Empire was called uh, Vultera, but uh, first name uh, sounds cooler. The name Vultera is derived from ancient Etruscan city called Velatri. Tarkans was a mix of Scythians and Etruscans, so my first sketch of Vulteran was looking more like a mix of Italic and Mycenaean uh, warrior. When I did my history illustration of Mycenaean warrior, like you see here, by the way, inspired by excellent documentary by author and historian Dan Davis here on YouTube. I will add link to his channel in description. Check it out. It's amazing. So I went uh, for character design inspired by Bronze Age cultures with some fantasy freedom and elements as always. New illustration is redesign of older character design. I reunified the color scheme for Vulteran faction and adjust uh, armor to reflect his status and the cult of the sun, which Brigians most worship. 
There were few color variations. I wanted his helmet to be symbol of the sun rays. A sun beam is also on his body armor and shield. Also still working on illustration of Battle of Ultera. Painting battle scene is always time consuming because you need to work on wall picture but in the same time on, on every single character with every detail. And that brings me to idea. As part of work building, I was thinking how these warriors would look like. Like in a common standard uniform and with ornaments as symbols of their coalition. So I have made this uh, design of Ultran infantryman. Originally I want to make uh, three various types of warriors. One with armor, second with breastplate, similar to some knights or Roman status and a third with line of thorax, Greek type of linen armor. Turns out somewhere in between with a plume helmet, uh, which gives him more officer or let's say a centurion look. Linen armor reinforced with bronze plates and also with bed legs instead of spear or javelin, similar to Etruscan warfare. I have almost all completed uh, character designs for all warriors who fought in this battle, which you could uh, already uh, see in this video or on my art station or Instagram, uh, link in description. Just bear in mind, some of these are uh, old illustrations, the lore of my book is constantly evolving and also I am trying to get better in digital art. So that's it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed short lore and inspiration. And with that being said, I love you all and see you next time.